Hey everyone, Phillips here with uh, Queen Anne's Reef. We uh, decided to move, go ahead and move forward with the uh, plumbing assembly. Uh, we're supposed to have the, uh, the new sump system that's supposed to be arriving possibly tomorrow. And uh, we went ahead and got all our uh, plumbing pieces and everything. We decided to go with white this time. Uh, just to be more cost efficient and everything, just was we're debating on doing colored plumbing. And it uh, just wanted to save a little money on this. So over here on the return stuff, it's gonna be in three quarter PVC, three quarter ball valves, three quarter slip to thread adapters, three quarter couplings, three quarter T's, 45's, uh, these are three quarter 90s that'll go from the bulkhead and 90 down into the slip fittings. These are the uh, three quarter unions. Uh, let's see, we got the three quarter bar fittings, uh, three quarter 90s, just standard slip, three quarter 90s. Uh, obviously Teflon tape, clear PVC glue. Uh, on the uh, drain side, we've got the uh, inch and a half PVC, inch and a half ball valves, uh, the inch and a half unions, and the inch and a half 90s. So this will all be going into the assembly and then we'll get this going, start getting pieces cut up. We'll watch as we go. Okay, so here's the first few pieces on the, uh, the overflow side. The, uh, the drains will be coming down like this. Uh, these are all dry fitted. I haven't glued anything yet. I'm just trying to get some rough uh, measurements on these. But um, these uh, ball valves, by the way, are a type of uh, a union, single side union valve, ball valve. Uh, thought maybe that would come in a little bit handy with later future maintenance or something. We'll see how those work out. Hopefully they, they're okay. But uh, keep moving forward. Okay. We're gonna start pulling some of these pieces here. Uh, some of the more easier ones. Clear PVC glue. Make sure you uh, glue your ends liberal, that way you get a good bond with the PVC welds itself to each other. Next, I'm going to glue, glue the uh, straight pieces into the, the bottom sides of the unions and uh, we're going to get those down.
these next pieces are kind of critical right there at the ball. You want to make sure you do not get glue up into that. That will seize that uh, ball valve up. So you want to make sure you, when you're applying your, your glue, that uh, you don't accidentally weld that shut or weld it open or anything. So we just want to be careful when we're applying glue to that. says you're not supposed to put plumber's tape PVC to PVC but every time I have uh, never put my uh, plumber's tape on my PVC to PVC threaded joints they've leaked so I, this is just me I'm sure plumbers are watching me they're gonna be like no what are you doing and I'm just doing what I've done for however long I've been doing this 20 years other plumbings on other tanks and everything and they just happen to leak so this is the way I've done it so all right so I went ahead and cut a few more pieces We've got a uh, uh, the, the, a good start on the uh, three-quarter return. The uh, sections up here, as you saw me taping, I did the same thing you know, as you guys saw on the opposite side. Here and here, straight pieces, unions, they'll drop down into uh, ball valves. Here and here. And uh, that's what we got so far. Get all that glued up now.
continuing forward with the plumbing, went ahead and added this next piece in. This is uh, just a 90 to 45, it's going underneath. And then it's falling all the way down through here. Uh, when the sumps come in, sump comes in, uh, the return should be, I marked it over here with a little piece of tape, should be according to my measurement, somewhere right in here. So I'm getting a union right here. I have a few other fittings and things that'll be over here somewhere, but I'm gonna stop from right here for, at, for now. And uh, then I'm gonna get the other side going too. And making a little more progress here. Coming over and across down with that one, making the turn. Everything in there. So unions are here and here on the three quarter lines. And also I decided to, uh, later on I'm gonna be adding in the UV sterilizer here on this line. So I'm dropping in two unions there. That way it makes it easier for me to add that in uh, in the near future. And then also I got that next union right there for easy maintenance. And uh, like I said, the, the sump, the, the return chamber should be right in here somewhere. So I'm gonna continue assembling right in here for the split. And for later future, I'm actually gonna be teeing off this way, but capping it and putting uh, ball valves going this way. So that way maybe later. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of break in that video because the, uh, as you guys can see, the sump came in. Uh, we'll do an unboxing and uh, video for that thing in just a little bit, but let me get back to the plumbing. Um, it's kind of exciting. I got it sitting in there and I'll get it all unpacked and everything in a little bit. But back to what I was saying, uh, the ball valves that'll be traveling this way, the teed off for the return, which now you actually can see where the return is gonna be. Uh, they'll be going up over and then I'll, if this is just for future, if I have to, for to get more flow in the aquarium, the, uh, the pipes will come up and I'll just kind of dress them up with some black PVC and then come up over the edge and uh, do that on both sides if I have to do that later, but that'll be for future also. But um, yep, so we're gonna pause this for now and uh, I'll have a part two plumbing video coming to you uh, next after we're gonna do the, uh, the unboxing video and the uh, kind of a, a go through on the sump system. So that's coming up next for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.